Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe from howtofish.com.au and I've been fishing with bread today. You can catch just about anything. I'm fishing the um, Barwon River just at Barwon Head, so not too far from the mouth. And uh, it's an absolutely beautiful morning here, a bit of sunshine, perfect weather, you know. Prefer it to be a bit more overcast, but look, really, what can you do? And um, got a couple of hours to fish, but today I'm fishing a, a little bit different. I'm only using bread as my bait. So what I'll be doing is I'll be experimenting with how bread works on uh, saltwater species, but it just won't be plain bread. I'm going to spice it up with a whole heap of different things just to see how that goes. So uh, let's just check this out. And the only trouble with uh, with bread is it's pretty indiscriminate. You can catch anything Sorry? like this. Oh. So um, what you, you're going to catch everything with it. It's, it's a great bait for that. And depending on how you put it on the hook, it can last for quite a while. But sometimes you're going to get stuff like this. Okay, mullet also like the bread. And as long as you've got fine lines, small hooks, and you put your bread on properly, you can catch them. The fishing got pretty hard this morning, so I, I had to do a couple of things. I had to actually go down in size of line and uh, rod and everything. So I'm using my um, Bass Red fishing rod and my honor reel here. What I did is I've got other spools of line. So these come with two spools. So all I did is I took the heavier line off and put a lighter um, spool on. So I'm using lighter line. And these rods have two tips. Okay, so you can take this one off and put a, a heavier one or a lighter one on. So I, put, I went from the, the heavier um, top section to the lighter top section. So all of a sudden I've sort of finessed down my gear. You know, I brought it down so I could feel everything and it's got a bit more flex in it, a bit more forgiving when you're uh, using lighter line. And then I used my survival pack gear. So this is just simply um, that lighter trace. So I've tried, tied a lighter trace onto my main line and got a size 14 hook on that so that everything is very very small. The burley cage I'm using is 60 grams because the water is moving through fairly fast, it is moving through so long so I wanted to keep as much, I wanted to keep in the area as much as I could. The water's pushing that out a little bit but the burley cage is heavy enough to sort of keep its position. Once I'd done all of that then and then held the rod so that as soon as I got a couple of tips I could uh, strike in, start to get those fish. Now, there's a couple of ways of putting bread on your hook. Um, in this type of water where there's a little bit of flow, there's a couple of ways I like to do it. So get your bread, take a piece out of the center. So I'll demonstrate on this hook because this is a larger hook. This is a size eight and I use a size 14 on the other. So what I'm doing now, you just scale down for the other hook. What you want to be able to do is um, on this, in this method, you just take the hook, you just basically, what I'm doing here, I'll just show you, what I'm gonna do is I embed it like that and then I squeeze the, um, the bread, which is very, very fresh, okay, I squeeze it around the base, but I leave the top of it like that, nice and loose and um, there's no pressure on that, so it's nice and fluffy. Now. I basically squeeze that on so it's going to stay for a little while, have the hook exposed, and then what I'll do is the additives, any additives I'm using, like a bit of the spicy uh, chicken formula or aniseed or whatever you like, um, you know, things you get from the supermarket, you basically drop onto the top piece there because once you actually squeeze this on, it doesn't absorb the um, it doesn't absorb the flavors that well, but that loose stuff will. So you cast that out. Now that will last probably about ten minutes. So you've got to be checking um, every ten minutes or so on your bait. It comes off quite easily, but the um, the smells and that really get the fish to stimulate it to bite everything. Hopefully they'll take your hook. So that's the first method. Yeah, I think it'll be a trevally, I think. Sorry? 
I haven't got really strong line on this and uh, I might lose it, but we'll see how we go. That's looking good. <laughs> okay, how about that? Now the second method, take your bread again, take the piece out that you want, so take a generous piece. Now you add your, you put the additive on it now, before you actually roll it onto your hook. Put the additive on, once you've got that on, so a couple of drops of whatever you want to do, then you roll it on and you mould it all over the hook. Leave the point exposed, but what you want to do is you want to mould it on so that it's actually quite tight, like a piece of dough. So it's ending up like that, but you always have the hook exposed. That there, with really fresh bread and a bit of moisture, that can last for probably, you know, 15, 20 minutes even. And the scent is really, really strong. And that is what I caught that Trevelli on this morning. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And for any of the gear, any of the, uh, the ingredients and my blog, go to my website howtofish.com.au